And how about you, sir? What do you uh, What do you use? What kind of device do you have? Tom Tom. You have a Tom Tom. Yes. Okay. So tell me about Phantom Alert. How did you get introduced to uh, Phantom Alert? Uh, well, I was a courier for 25 years, and I play music on the weekend. So, so you percent of my time is behind the wheel. So you're a professional driver. Yes. You have a CDL. Yes. Okay. Um, a friend of mine. I was with him one night, and uh, we were riding down the road, and all of a sudden I heard this big moo. And I was like, what the heck is that? And he said, well, that's Phantom Alert. I said, well, what is what that? Do you, what do you mean? You heard a moo on what? On his GPS. On his device. Oh, okay, his GPS yeah, was making it. was, it was warning him that there was a red light camera approaching. Okay. And as soon as he told me, I said, boy, that's a, that's a great So moo. you're saying that the alert... Is a moo for a red light camera on his tom tom? On his tom tom, yeah, they're <laughs> okay. all different. Mine so you got different voices, yeah. Verbally, uh, but on his, I guess he has a cheaper model that doesn't have the voice activated, right. so it has the. He has his as a moo, so when right. it comes to a red light camera, it moves. Okay, so, so I thought it was interesting, and and I figured for the money, uh, what do you got to lose? I mean, it's it's very inexpensive. So Thirty bucks. Try it for a year. Right. Um, and like I say, I, my year is not up, it's coming up, but when it does, you know, I'm going to get a lifetime because it's, there are so many things, uh, when I drive home from gigs late at night, uh, that I can't see or not aware of that that helps me with, you know, it's a dangerous curve coming up mm -hmm. or if I'm working my day job, um, you know, I'm a courier, so everything is time effective, not that I speed, but time is very important. So if I'm going through an area, it'll warn me if there's a school there, which is very important to me because I don't want to ever hurt a, a child or anything. And kids have a tendency to dart out in front of the vehicles. Mm -hmm. Now, you know, this isn't a, a catch-all. If you get phantom alert, doesn't mean you're never going to get a ticket because it, there are policemen everywhere. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, it doesn't mean you can speed till you get to the next speed camera because there could be police in between there but it's it's a good aid for me it helps. so it helps you slow down and avoid yeah. traffic tickets it keeps me aware yes okay. of everything so that's you, going on you know both of you you're not using phantom alert to break the law or to speed or to get away with the speeding or running red lights i mean you're using this proactively so that you don't run red lights yeah and as, or as, don't uh, speed in, in school zones because a lot of times if you're driving three four hundred miles a day you're paying attention to everything around you but sometimes you kind of with the vehicles we have nowadays, so sophisticated, you don't realize sometimes, hey, how fast am I going? Phantom Alert will alert me, hey, you're going over the speed limit. And that helps me back off a little Well, bit. and also, um, I'm traveling on a daily basis doing multiple stops. It keeps me up to speed on new cameras and new laws. Right. Um, new speed traps, yeah. They're popping up Construction, all over the place. yeah. Yeah, construction. Speed cameras, yeah. Um, changes in roads, uh, mm -hmm. all kinds of things that <clears throat> how am I ever going to keep up on a day-to-day -day basis uh, right. without a device like Phantom Alert. Earlier you said about something about red light cameras and accidents. How, so how does a Phantom Alert help you avoid accidents at red light cameras? Well, the problem that I found is um, people will approach a red light pretty fast and then they, when they see that camera they lock on the brakes. And if you're behind them, you're not getting much of an opportunity to do anything. So knowing that there's a camera coming up not only alerts me to, hey, slow down because there's a red light camera, but it lets me be aware of the other drivers around me. How are they going to react when they notice that camera? Because a lot of them just slam on the brakes. And I mean, that, that can cause... So you might, you might rear-end them. Exactly. Yes, right. Absolutely. See so that. this phantom alert will tell you that there's a red light camera coming up. So one, you don't run the red light. And two... You keep an eye out for the guy in front of you, so just in case he slams his brake, you have enough time to slow right, down and that has not rear end him. To me several times. What, what has happened? And where people have, I guess they at the last minute noticed the red light camera, and they lock on the brakes. Mm -hmm. And when you're behind them, you're not getting much of an opportunity because if the light just turns yellow and they see that camera, they're slamming on the brakes. Right. And another problem too, I find, is a lot of the yellow lights. Some of them are so quick that by the time you approach the intersection, it turns yellow. The next thing you know, it's red. So that, you know, this way I know when there's a camera, I'm going to slow down and I'm going to stop. Excellent. And, you know, that's safety for me. It's safety for the people around me. 
and lets me be aware of the people that are in front of me. Excellent, excellent. Now, would you uh, recommend Phantom Alert to uh, other drivers? Uh, I think people would be foolish if they did for the money. Okay. Uh, it's not expensive. Tickets are so much more expensive. And before Phantom Alert, I was getting tickets left and right saying, well, I wasn't even speeding or the light changed quick, but there's no defense. I've, you know, they're saying, hey, you're guilty of something, you're going to pay. There's no right. way I can say, hey, well, wait a minute. So, uh, but since I've been very, very happy with the problem. What about you? Would you recommend Phantom Alert to oh, other drivers? Absolutely, and have, um, I'll have people that will drive along with me and they'll hear it go off, Phantom Alert go off, and like, what's that? And I have to go through and tell them all about Phantom Alert and, and uh, tell them that the, how it all came about, but uh, absolutely to recommend uh, people to use it. I, I, I think, geez, I think that the government should hand them out for God's sakes and slow everybody <laughs> down. If that's the purpose of the camera to begin with, is to slow people down, well, give me a subscription. So, wait a minute. Are you, are you saying that the government should be absolutely. giving out Phantom Alert uh, subscriptions? <laughs> when you go to your motor vehicle, you get a Phantom Alert subscription. I mean, that's so I guess with every ticket that they send out, they should be sending out a subscription to Phantom Alert. <laughs> Absolutely, that's the purpose of the camera, right? <laughs> so you think that the purpose of these cameras is for safety or for revenue? What are you, what are your thoughts? I'd say it's 10% safety and 90% revenue. Why, why would you say that? Once they see that kind of revenue come in, uh, and it's let's face it, uh, you you set a, a camera up. Um, initial cost, once that's over with, that thing just keeps taking uh, uh, pictures and tickets day in, day out, rain, no sickness, nothing like that. It's totally no robot. union. No union. You <laughs> no complaints. The money doesn't go to the, the counties or that's the state, correct. though, and that's the thing that bothers me. What do, what do you mean by that? Well, you, you know, mean the revenue, uh, yeah, the revenue, revenue from the cameras? Is, uh, most of it, from my understanding, are going to the companies that are running the cameras, so uh, my opinion is, is they're going to do whatever they can to give out as many tickets as they can because that's how they're making their money. Well, it's 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 a company for a profit, so they make right. profit whenever more whenever somebody gets a ticket. Exactly. Yeah. So, are you saying that the traffic camera companies or the camera vendors are happy when people get tickets? Oh, they love it. Really? That's the best Offer me five hours a car for every speeding car I turn in, and watch how many I turn in by the end of the day. So profit yeah. is the profit is the motive, exactly. not safety. Absolutely, exactly. I want to I want to hear uh, when the revenue drops, what these folks are doing, and if everybody is obeying the speed limit and they're not generating tickets, what are these companies? Are they going to take the cameras away now? I mean, I. I'd like to hear that conversation because they're out for the revenue. Well, if you're for profit company, your 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 goal is to maximize profit, exactly. not to go out of business. There you go. So, what do you think is going to happen when, you know, when people start using more and more phantom alert and uh, people are aware of where all these speed traps revenue are? Goes and, down. <laughs> so, what, what's what's your prediction? Uh, is it going to be more phantom alert uh, users, or are they going to make phantom alert illegal because it's so effective? What do you think is going to happen? What's your prediction for the future? I hope it never becomes illegal because uh, it's, a, it's a safety tool for me. And well, we know we've always been proud of it, but we just didn't expect it. To and, um, not just for speeding. Speeding is, is just, I guess, something that they want to pick on. There's too many other safety measures on the fact. I see it! It's right if there! They, if they it's make right Phantom Alert illegal, right there. That, that almost tells me that it's a revenue generator. I mean, that's admitting that they're doing it purely for revenue and not necessarily for safety. Good points. Good points.